Hello everybody, this is Claudia of Codehouse.co and today I want to show you how you can create an accessible custom radio switcher. This is the final result we want to achieve. So basically we have two options and we can switch from one option to, to the other. To create these components, I'm going to use the Codehouse framework. You can download it from GitHub. I've already downloaded the framework, so I'm going to navigate to the framework folder. If this is the first time you downloaded the framework, don't forget to install the node modules using the command npm install. I've already done that, so I'm going to run npm run gulp watch. OK, let's start. So this is the index.html in the framework file. The basic idea uh, behind this component is to use two radio inputs um, and hide them and style the label of those inputs. So first of all, let's create a, an unordered list with these two radio input. And inside the unordered list, let's create a list item for each input radio. So I'm going to have an input um, with a class of radio switch input and the type type radio. I'm going to add an ID of radio one and the name of uh, radio switch. And then we need a label with a class of uh, radio switch label for and this is the monthly option. And then let's duplicate this one for the second option, the yearly one. And the ID this time is going to be radio two. OK, we have our list. Let's add a wrapper. to our unordered list, just to add some uh, uh, space, some margin. And then I can center this element using uh, uh, the alignment classes of the framework. So I'm going to add a class of flex and then flex center. OK, so we said that the idea behind this resource is to hide the two input elements and just show the two labels and, of course, change their style. Um, so let's start from hiding the input elements. Uh, of course, when we say hide the input elements, uh, we uh, I mean only visually hide them. So you still want them to be accessible um, for the screen readers. And to do that, we can use two classes available in the framework, one class actually, which is the SR only class. You can find this class in the accessibility global of the framework. So basically this class hides the input, so the, the element, uh, but still the element is accessible to the screen reader. Now, let's move to the style, dot, uh, the style.scss file. And here you see I've already defined some uh, CSS uh, variables. So basically, I've defined the, um, uh, this variable for the width of the switch element, the height, padding, radius, and the uh, duration of the animation. So let's start from the radio switch element, which is the unordered list. I want the, the two items to be on the same line, so I'm going to add a display of in line flex. OK, and then let's add a padding to this element. I'm going to use the variable I've defined here and a border radius. 
again, I'm, I'm going to define, I'm going to use this variable here. And let's give it also a border so we can see the, the element in the page. So one pixel, solid, and I'm going to use a, var a color variable of the framework, color, contrast, low. And save. Okay, now let's move to the, the list item elements. And for those items, I just want to set a height and a width. So the height, this is going to be the total height of the switch element minus uh, two times the padding. And the width, this is going to be half the width of the switch. Minus the padding. Okay. Now we want to style the uh, label elements. So radio switch label. Okay, first of all, let's add a display block to the label, which is a by default an inline element. And then let's set a line height and the line height is going to be equal to this height here. So I'm going to use this calc here. Okay. And now um, a text center text align center. Okay, um, and let's add a border radius to those elements as well. Perfect. Now we have the two labels and uh, we don't have a way to see which one of those uh, inputs are uh, actually checked. So we are going to need an element and a, a marker uh, with a background color that moves from one side to the other when we switch from one input radio to the other. So let's go back for one second to the index.html and I'm going to create this marker inside the, sec the second list item. I'm going to call it radio switch marker. And this is a visual element only, doesn't have uh, any meaning. So I don't want it to be um, accessible by, I don't want the screen readers to, to read this element. So I'm going to add an area hidden true. Let's go back here and let's give some style to this element. Okay, um, I want this element to be in position absolute, so I'm going to add a position relative here. So position absolute. And let's set a top of zero. A left. Let's start with the left of zero and then the height and the width. This is going to be equal to the height and width of the item. And then let's add also a background color so that we can see it. For example, we can use the primary color. Okay, so for sure we need a background color, uh, a border radius, sorry, border radius. And 
And now we don't see the label anymore. So we are going to need to add a position relative here. This is just an issue with uh, Z index and add a Z index of uh, one. Perfect. So now we should move this label, this marker element when we switch from one input to the other. So I can um, mm, add here radio switch input checked. Now I can target the sibling following this input element. And I can set a transform, for example, translate x 100% and save. Okay, you see that now the marker is outside the main element. So I can actually set a left of uh, minus 100%. Now it moves back. Now when I click here, and of course there is no transition. So let me add a transition. And I've actually defined a variable for this duration. Now we have an, uh, a nice transition when we switch from one element to the other. We can even change the color of the label when the input uh, is checked. So here again, I can use the same radio switch input checked and target the label following the checked input radio and I can set a color of white and I can also add a um, font I can use the font smooth mixing here because I have a um, white um, text on a dark background you can find this uh, mixing defined in the mixing global of the framework and let me add also a transition to the color and again I can use the variable the CSS variable animation duration perfect now we have almost done it. The last thing missing is a focus effect. So keep in mind that some users, they use only the keyboard to navigate. So if you try to press the tab element on your, the tab key on your keyboard, you see the, the focus now is here. Then if you tab again, it moves to the, the switch here to the radio input checked, but you have no visual clue about that. Uh, so we need to add this, uh, this clue and we can use the focus within a pseudo element of the radio switch. So we say when the focus is within this element, Let's add, uh, for example, a box shadow. And I'm going to set three pixels and use the color contrast lower and save. So now you see that when the input is in focus, uh, you have a clue that, that the element is, is in focus because we have added this uh, box shadow and you can use the right and left arrow to navigate, navigate from one option to the other. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial.